For our second half, we're going to bring up a very special guest going to join us on the stage. This person is a friend of the PRC, a student at NYU Shanghai, and a person who hails from the North Central West region of the United States. That is Montana. Give a round of applause for Oscar Fossa. Have seats, please. So the way the second half is going to work is we're going to do something called long form. So you guys are going to throw out a couple of words. One of those words is going to inspire Oscar to tell a real story from his actual life. <laughs> and just like your suggestions inspired our scenes in the first half, Oscar's story is going to inspire our scenes in the second half. Yes. Great. So go on, uh, go ahead and throw out any word at all to inspire Oscar. Rabbits. What was that? Cheating. Cheating. Rabbits. Casualties. Very inspiring <laughs> words. <laughs> so cheating, oh. rabbits, casualties. Okay, I, have, I have one about rabbits. Great. Um, so, so when I, my mom was dating this guy who I thought would be my stepdad someday, uh, but he ended up not being my stepdad someday, but anyway, I used to mow this guy's lawn for money, and uh, we, they had this garden in the back, and they'd garden things, and uh, I'd mow this lawn, and it was like an electric, it wasn't a gas lawn mower, it was like you plugged it in, and you had to like drag this, it was like, uh, extension cord around the fucking lawn and it was a huge lawn it was like what the fuck am I doing with this extension cord but then so there were bunnies in this garden and they gave birth to baby bunnies and they're just this like little and like they're not pretty either they're like little like kind of hairless but so, so have some hair but they're kind of gross and they're blind and you can see them in the hole and sometimes they come out and I'm mowing the lawn and okay, but this. Oh, no. <laughs> so, nope. Yeah, no. The, the electric, the electric lawnmower is pretty weak, so it. <laughs> it didn't. It didn't. No, it didn't. It didn't suck any of them up or anything like that. But it did remind me of another story <laughs> of a friend whose dad allegedly ran over the baby bunnies when he was a child. Or no, no, no. When he was, <laughs> he ran over the baby bunnies when she was a kid. And he told her that the baby bunnies moved away. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Cord is like way too short, okay? We need to not use cords on all our appliances, all right? Oh, I see. You'd rather maybe we uh, just. Burned coal in our lawnmower, huh? Is that what you want? Or maybe have it leave nuclear waste behind us? Well, that Jennifer, would... we are a green, sustainable family. Robert, we have talked about this, and I know we want to be green, okay? But I also need to be able to mow the lawn in a radius bigger than four feet, okay? The rest of the yard is overgrown, because I can't go any further. <laughs> you know, Jennifer... Okay, then right here. That's so all I'm doing. When we made our pact, to be a green, sustainable family, we knew there were going to be sacrifices. I remember that pact, Robert. It takes me four days, okay, to charge my cell phone with our little hamster wheel charger. I know. Okay, the hamster keeps dying. I can't call anybody. I'm making sacrifices. You know what else is dying? Two other things are dying besides that hamster, okay? One, your phone, and two, our marriage, all right? Well, you know what's living, Jennifer? What? The planet Earth! God damn it! Robert, I know we said- God, I would call him. You Our can't. relationship counselor, but my yeah. phone doesn't work. Yeah. I'll feed the hamster. I love oh, you. No. And that's what makes this so hot. I love you. I'm sorry, that was not abuse. That was like a wake-up call. God, it, also generated, it generated like 1% of wind energy for our panels, so it's okay. Oh my God. I've got a new idea. You do? I love when you're inspired, Robert. <laughs> It'll power our dishwasher. Okay. We take you to that idea. <laughs> You're doing great! Um, we're going to pay you uh, for this in uh, granola bars that my wife makes. Um, I dry them in the sun. Oh, yes, they're sun dry. <laughs> it's been rainy, so they're a little undercooked, but they'll still give you energy. Do you speak English? Yeah, can you hand me that leaf? I need to wipe my brow. <laughs> uh, just try to use too many leaves, all right? Because a uh, tree in the back, it's, it's, it's hella overgrown out there. <laughs> yeah. Well, you should see sun. the four-foot patch. It's really, I keep it very trim. Son, not to, not to distract you uh, while you're powering our, our dishwasher, but I just want you to know this region used to be uh, 
dominated by deciduous conifers, okay? So when you say it's over, hella overgrown, it's, it, it's a return to stasis, okay? Just so you know. It looks really bad. Uh, honey, you're gonna want to keep going, because... I can't believe the HOA hasn't said something. So, I'm sorry? The Homeowners Association? So, allegedly, they're a family, uh, but I, you know, judging by what they do to their yard, which is to say nothing, uh, <laughs> they don't look like a real family to me. Honey, I'm thinking maybe we should help them. You know, they are, they are suppressing our, our home value in the neighborhood, you know? I feel positively oppressed. Uh, every faucet is on in their house. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe you Sweet. Mean, we never gave them a welcome to the neighborhood gift. Oh, you're so right. Did, did you leave a light off upstairs? <laughs> <laughs> maybe. I don't. I don't know. Get, get to the. Okay. So the uh, the Williams are gonna come over oh, today. Uh, yeah. So I thought you could make them some of your tree bark pie. <laughs> They we see are. how sustainable our home is. I think so. We take you to the double date. <laughs> so, so Welcome, everyone. Yeah. Just get the, the ferns kind of come in the windows sometimes. So. <laughs> Could we turn on a light? Oh, we don't have any lights. Okay. Uh, yeah. You can. Uh, you can. You can try to see by the light. Uh, my ladder makes when I'm smoking my bomb. So. <laughs> oh, oh. You know what? We, don't, we if, brought our generator, so don't, yeah, don't worry no, about no, it. No. No. Yeah. Don't worry about it. No. 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 no, no. no. <laughs> Ralph just opened up a new coal seam in the uh, backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Look. No. You're fine. Sorry. Really high. What did you just say? Ralph's mine. We got another hundred feet down. We got to another coal seam. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Just, Mother Earth is weeping! Wait, what, what are you doing? I'm weeping. Please take this monstrosity out of our home. What? What are you talking about? This is... You are shaving years off of our precious planet's life. Right now. I, I, Have you never heard of rubbing two sticks together to generate God's energy known as fire? I've not heard of that, no. <laughs> we, God's, I, I use God's energy every day in the backyard. I, I go and dig up the dinosaurs that God made and put in my exactly. backyard, oh. and who I do you burn think? those dinosaurs. Oh. Who do you think invented oil? Oh, it was God. And he put it under the ground so we wouldn't be able to reach it. But we can. Sometimes it bubbles up and <laughs> seams and cracks. Oh, and, and that's when we have to thank our blessing for, for the Lord for giving us things that burn brightly and we can waste. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Honey, I don't like the Williams. I don't like these people at all. Leave our home. <laughs> and there I was. I brought him right to the edge of the guillotine. And it was wavering. It was going back and up forth. And then I didn't use it. <laughs> but that reminds me of another story. <laughs> You're gonna love it. Yeah? You're gonna love it. Cause you know one of the participants. Oh right. Alright, I got right. a, I got a friend who's okay. a sister. <laughs> now I got a dad who has a sister. So your friend's uh, dad's your dad's My friend's dad's sister. friend's sister. Come with you. Uh she uh had a childhood. Yep. And in that childhood, yep. she read a book about ancient France. Cool. Okay. And in France. They had guillotines. Huh. And after someone died yep. in a guillotine, uh -huh. they would go to the home, uh. knock on the door, uh. deliver some bread, uh -huh. paint a little picture, uh -huh. and then they would say, Bartholomew, <laughs> we're going to have to talk about your performance as county executioner. <laughs> It seems... I, I think it's all about the build-up. Oh. It's about the journey. Hmm. Beg to differ. <laughs> I, being high counsel on the King's Court, uh, <coughs> can tell you that everyone else that matters disagrees I, with this assessment. I can prove you wrong. Hmm. What happens after the climax? Well, uh, we've executed a criminal. It's over. 
The denouement! That's the point. I feel you're focusing too much on the showmanship of the job and not the results. We, we I got into this because I was meant to be on stage. Everyone looks at me. Oftentimes, I peek through my little hood. I wink at the ladies. We cut to the execution. <laughs> uh, just uh, lay down uh, all right here. Okay. Uh, you're a little lady. Uh, all right, put your head right there. Uh, just making me quit. Just making me I gotta sign an autograph. I'll be right back. Oh my god. Got my quill here. Pat <laughs> me, please. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, so soon what's going to happen is your no, lights are going to dim. I don't want to hear about it. Please uh, just get it over with. If you're not going to spare me, just tell us it. more. All right. Uh, if you're not a believer in Christ, now's the time to do it. Just end it, uh, We call these the Crusades, I believe. <laughs> We're changing the world for the better. Explain! Okay. Uh, before I came here... Oh my god, that's a supple neck. <laughs> Please just stop! Please just kill me now! I, I didn't think I would say this before, but you have to just end this. Uh, so, uh, it, it appears that the execution went off successfully. It took a little bit longer than, Finally. than we anticipated, but uh, in fact, the... The uh, captive was bored to death, so <laughs> it, it's, it's effective. It's I would even argue humane. It's it's really you know there's no spinning blades. There's no you know almost a hairless King William. Yes, I understand your word is law. Yes, in your county, but I am here as your high counsel to tell you that at this rate. We will only execute one criminal per month. We we have hundreds in the dungeons. It's becoming overflowing. <laughs> Okay, can we do sort of a multi-party, uh, you know, get a couple couple different storytellers all telling similarly boring stories all at the same time to maybe, you know, 20 or 30 people at a time, like a, a classroom environment? We take you to Jeffrey Lehman's classroom. <laughs> 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 Please just let the game team play. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's